Hello, welcome to my video on a demonstration of how a baby moves to the pelvis during birth. The most important piece of equipment I can show you is this. This is a female pelvis, a replica of one, and um, as you can see, it's lovely and flexible. Mine's flexible because I've undone the butterfly nuts. But in pregnancy, a woman um, will have a flexible pelvis due to a hormone called relaxin, which relaxes all the muscles and ligaments to hold these bones in place. In adult life, you're probably stuck tight. But in labour, they're lovely and flexible. This is to help the baby move through the pelvis, to increase the space and um, to get all the bones out of the way. The most important bone it gets out of the way is this one nearly, the um, sacrum. As you can see, it can flex out of the way for when the baby's head descends. If you lay on your back, for instance, the space is reduced because the sacrum is pushed up meaning that the space is not only smaller, the baby needs, now needs to be birthed uphill. If you adopt an upright forward open position, like so, the sacrum can get out of the way, the pelvis can widen and you can increase the space inside by about 30%. One of the most important things you need to know about the pelvis is how it's, the space is arranged. At the top, the widest part of the pelvis is here, side to side, hip to hip, hip to hip. At the bottom, the widest part is here, front to back. This designates how the baby's head will move through the pelvis to make the most of the space. In most ordinary pregnancies, the baby will be on the left hand side of the mother. This is because the baby's head is arranged in such a way that the smallest part of the head will come through first. The widest bit of the smallest part is still front to back. At the front and the back of the baby's head, here, will go through the widest part of the pelvis, making the most use of the space. The baby's head should also be flexed. And so when it's in the LOT position, which is a fancy way of saying on the left hand side, coming through the pelvis, it'll come through like so. The neck, neck will be flexed because the pelvic floor muscles will be holding the head, so the chin will be to the chest, and it'll begin to uh, descend and the mother will be nearly dilate, fully dilated. The baby will then begin to rotate. This is so that the widest part of the baby's head can then make the most of the widest part of the pelvis. So begin to face the back. Um, so this is the OA position, I think. And the head will begin to extend, like so. So it will leave the chest come up and start to flex up. Then it will need to turn again in order to birth the shoulders. This is done by effect turning to face the mother's right thigh. Usually the shoulder facing the front, I've done the left there, <laughs> usually the shoulder at the front will be born first, especially if you're on your back. But if you are in an upright forward open position, then it shouldn't really uh, make any much difference. So one shoulder will be born first, then the other, and the whole baby should be born with some lovely skin to skin care, which will increase oxytocin, encouraging the third stage of labour to start and initiate breastfeeding. What do I mean by upright, forward, open positions? They're any position you really feel comfortable in, which um, enables you to use to make the most of your hips and the space within them. Most women find that just getting on tall fours helps, just open all that space up. Um, there's some examples of positioning. Here's a woman leaning on her husband, or birth partner. Her legs are apart, she's leaning forward, and her pelvis, and she's upright. Meaning that all her pelvis muscles are able to move, she's able to sway with them, and she's got lots of lovely space. Um, here's another lady. She's leaning on a bean bag. Uh, she's upright, so she's off of her sacrum. She's leaning forward, and her legs are apart, increasing the space within. Her favourite, the birth ball. The lady is upright, leaning forward, and her, her pelvis is apart. And she's able to get a bit of a massage if she feels a bit tired. Um, and that's what I mean by upright forward open positions. I hope that it was helpful. Um, I hope your pregnancy goes well and your labour goes well and thank you for your time.